Welcome to FBTV, I'm Karen Longbottom. This afternoon we're at Walton Bridge Reserve for the Brisbane Women's Premier League Grand Final between Eastern Suburbs and the Gap FC. These two teams had to overcome it switch nights to get to the Grand Final and we'll be hoping to take away a piece of silverware. The two teams faced each other twice this year, coming away with one win each. Now it's over to our commentator, Rafe Griffin. Thanks very much, Karen. The two teams lined up on the park for this Brisbane Women's Premier League Grand Final between East and the Gap. Two teams going through the pre-match ritual. Lara Smith tosses the coin. She'll be assisted by Daniel Olsen and Cameron Fawcett this afternoon. As Sarah Ryan of East and Shannon Barrow of the Gap decide which way they'll go at the start of this match. And the shot takes a deflection there from Wilkinson. Panetta on. King. Referee allows advantage. King and the ball on. Touch on goal. And East. How will know they don't have the opening goal because the assistant has their flag up. Let's take a look at that on the replay. And on that graphic. Looks like the assistant made the right decision on that occasion. East denied an opener. Free kick here from Ryder. Towards the penalty box, flicked on. And Smith Roberts makes the save there for the gap. Corner variation. Panetta. And once again, Smith Roberts with the save. McDonald. Out on the right. Defensive work in there from McLennan for the gap. She gives away the free kick. Free kick here from East out wide. Smith Roberts came looking for it. Off the woodwork and out for a goal kick. O'Neill. Played the ball through there looking for Flores. Flores. She's going to go into Lara Smith's book. Free kick in. Oh, and Smith Roberts forced to tip it over the bar. Good effort there from Chantel Ryder. Floating free kick. And Smith Roberts gets to it before it can dip into the goal. Roger, Hogg making the run. She now finds Hogg. Hogg's going to play it off her right foot. No, she... Well, she does. But she's deemed to have been offside. And once again, another good decision. This time by the assistant on this side of the park. East looking to attack. Coin Plays a cross in! And Smith Roberts gets to the ball first. Just a little hesitation there as Flores now comes up with it for the gap. Flores into the box. Gabriel Meta, the easy save there for Easts. Wellingham. On for Dixon. Dixon onto Wellingham who continue to run. Just couldn't quite get an effective shot on target. Free kick in from McDonald. Now it's Hogg. Hogg puts a ball into the box. Skinner. And over the crossbar. Gap looking to... Capitalise on the momentum they have at this current stage of the match. Opportunity now from a corner. East defence trying to deal with it. Falls for Flores. This time she finds the crossbar. Through there by McDonald. Ryan plays it on. full time you're going to need another half an hour at least to sort this one out no goals 
in the opening 90 minutes of this grand final. Now East have it, McNamara. Tested ball there that the gap are going to come away with or turnover of possession. King, ball into the box. Half a shout from the crowd for a penalty there, but not given by Lara Smith. Let's see if there was any contact there. Lara Smith in good position on that occasion. Lee. Now it's King. He's for the momentum now in this part of the match. And Smith Roberts able to grab the ball. That's half time. Still no goals after 105 minutes. Aziz coming on to attacking raid again. Smith Roberts off a line. Plays it clear and straight to King, and fortunately for her, doesn't rebound into the goal. Rod is going to play it back. Dangerous ball. And Gabriel Meta forced to pick up the ball. And referee Lara Smith just going to go and consult with her Assistant referee here to see whether there was a back pass there. And yes, yeah, she has ruled the indirect free kick for the back pass. So the Gap are going to have an opportunity. Deep in extra time here. McNamara. Wall may have advanced and yep, Lara Smith picked up on that. We'll have that free kick retaken once again. Touch on this time for King. Falls wide, the shots. Throwing comes down the line. And 90 minutes couldn't resolve it. Neither could in an additional half hour. We're going to go to penalties. The two captains once again have the coin toss with Lara Smith. Simone Batolsic with the first penalty here for Easts against Hannah Smith Roberts. And Batolsic, she converts. Fatima Flores now for the gap. Flores two past the keeper. 1 1 after the first kick. Alice Wellingham for Easts. And Smith Roberts close to getting a hand on it, but not to be. The gaps turn again to get on level terms through Victoria McDonald. She does so. And we're still tied up. Melissa Panetta. Catherine O'Neill here for the gap. And she totally sends Gabrielle Meta the wrong way. Still leaving at three all after three kicks. Chantel Ryder. Oh, off the woodwork. And that now puts the gap into the box seat. Underside of the crossbar. Oh, so close from Chantel Ryder. And Laura Dunn finds the back of the net. The gap, perfect four from four. Sarah Ryan needs to bang this one in to keep East in the game. Smith Roberts, she commits herself early. But the gap are going to have the chance to take this match. Through Susanna Roger. If she converts the gap, we'll be the champions. She does so. And the gap 
5-4 on penalties winners of the Brisbane Women's Premier League for 2014. Shannon Barrow collects the champion's trophy. The champagne will eventually be uncorked. And there it is, the Gap 2014 Brisbane Women's Premier League Champions.